Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. It's your man Earl. It is Sunday, October 29th, episode 302, 302, can you believe it? And we have had a tremendous response. We have had a tremendous uh just it's it's been very rewarding with the devotions. And so what we want to do is this. We might as well go ahead and close out the month of uh, October. And now, let me let me do a quick commercial on devotions and devotional readings. Let's make this very clear. You can strengthen, you can develop, you can cultivate, you can gain knowledge in almost any subject with devotional reading. Or would you just say, I said it. There are so many different types of devotional books, devotional material. You've got men's devotion, women's devotion, family devotion, children's devotional reading. So uh, if you're looking for uh, specified devotional readings, I highly suggest you head on down to the bookstore and we help you either find it on the shelf. And of course, we have a back stock. Because of the size of our store right now, we're waiting for the Lord to give us larger territory. But we do have back stock uh, that we have off-site. So we pretty much can find, go get, and of course order whatever kind of devotional you're looking for. Now, once again, uh, we're going to continue with the devotional readings. More on devotions, episode 302. More on devotions. Now, as you see... In the vlog, you have a book that's called As a Man Thinketh by James Allen. I have read that book. Excellent book on thinking. Excellent book on how a person thinks, how you think, uh, the effects of negative thinking, etc., etc. Now, to the left, you have a devotional book, Day by Day, with James Allen. Now, this devotion was not written by James Allen. It was written by a guy named Vic Johnson. All right. And if you look closely at the book, it says Day by Day with James Allen by Vic Johnson. And what he does is he takes the book, as a man thinketh, and he gives you 31 days or approximately one month's reading devotional thoughts on and around and about as a man think it. Now, as usual, let's take a peek at today. So, let's just do uh, the first day of the month. Even though we're not on the first day of the month, we would actually be on the 29th day of the month. So, let's see. Well, let's see what the 29th day of the month looks like. Twenty seventh day of the month, twenty eighth day of the month, twenty ninth day of the month. Okay, you ready? Once again, we are in day by day with James Allen by Vic Johnson. It is a meditations for the month. This is what he says. Control your destiny. A person is literally what he thinks. His character being the complete sum of all his thoughts. Right out of the book, As a Man Thinketh. Listen to what Vic Johnson re writes. James Allen means character in both the broad and narrow sense, our total being in the broad sense, and our moral fiber in the narrow sense. Okay. Listen to what his closing thoughts are about a person is literally what he thinks, his character being the complete sum of his thoughts. Last paragraph on the 29th day of the month. It's not our circumstances, not our spouse, not our boss. It's our thoughts that are in control. So we can be in control because we can control our thoughts. And that's worth thinking about. That is worth meditating on. That is worth 
praying about. All right? Now, once again, these are tools that you can pick up. If you got negative thinking, uh, if you're a, a person who struggles with having a positive mental attitude, this might be something that you want to grab. All right? Episode 302, 29th day of the month, we are studying uh, devotions. This is a monthly devotion based off of the book by James Allen, As a Man Thinketh, which I have read. And this devotion is based, is written by Vic Johnson. God bless you, God keep you. And remember, a person is literally what he thinks, his character being the complete sum of his thoughts. It's not our circumstances, not our spouse, not our children, not our family, not our money, not our church, not our business, not where we live at, not the car that we drive. It is our thoughts that are in control. So we can be in control because we can control our thoughts. I added some italics. I added some thoughts as well. And that, my friends, lads and ladies, is worth thinking about. God bless you. God keep you. Peace.